Good afternoon, everyone. We're not starting with the usual pomp and ceremony of marching up the aisle in our procession. So I'm going to begin first by asking some signal that you can hear me. Okay, sounds like, sounds like you can. Well, I want to welcome everyone. As you do, I wish we could have been in the Kirby Center uh, instead of doing this virtually. But seeing you all on screen rather than the Kirby Center in no way diminishes my great pride in your achievements and my joy in presenting your diplomas today. Yours is a remarkable class anyway by virtue of your accomplishments, but you are now historic in several ways. First of all, you're the last class to have entered the school named the Commonwealth Medical College, and you are now graduating from Geisinger Commonwealth School of Medicine. And you are the first class to be graduating virtually. Before we begin the proceedings, it's my pleasure to present Josh Deering and Janara Kohler, both members of your class who will sing the national anthem. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we That was beautiful. Thank you very much. It is my pleasure now to call upon Dr. William Jeffries, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Vice Dean for Medical Education to present the graduates. Thank you, Dr. Scheinman. And uh, allow me to add my congratulations to our graduates and their families. Uh, I have the distinct privilege and honor of presenting the recipients of the degree Doctor of Medicine. Uh, these individuals have satisfied the requirements established by the faculty and been recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Directors. As president of Geisinger Commonwealth School of Medicine, upon recommendation of the faculty and on behalf of the Board of Directors, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree Doctor of Medicine, granting all the rights, privileges, and honors appertaining thereto. Congratulations. I think it's appropriate to have some applause right now. During this next portion of our ceremony as our graduates are being hooded, student slides will appear along with images of their live hoodings at home.
<laughs> Congratulations.
It's official. <laughs> See the video. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. This is 
awkward. <laughs> yeah, it's super awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well. Okay. Hey. Oh. No, we. Haley Hutchison. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could have had you announce me, though. We don't know that. We have a while for you, right? Yeah. I'm a. Woo! 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 But my phone's over here. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yes, video.
Do I go ahead? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Yay! All right, now we can go watch. Yes. I don't see the video. Wait, should I try to do it? I saw it. <laughs> there it is. Hold on. I don't think I'm supposed to talk, Danny. But I'm ready for my oath. Congrats, guys. Okay. Harrison David Winters. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, I gather the hooding is finished. It may not have been as ceremonial as we would have had in the Kirby Center, but I have to say it was absolutely wonderful. And another first, the first time in the history of the school that all of the hoodings were done by family members, and in some cases, even by dogs. Uh, it is now my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Carmine Serra, Associate <laughs> Professor of Pathology, who was chosen by the class of 2020 to administer their oath. Dr. Serra. Congratulations to our Doctor of Medicine graduates. It's our tradition to have the oath administered by a faculty member chosen by the graduating class. Today, it's my distinct honor and privilege to do so. New doctors of medicine, please join me in reciting Geisinger Commonwealth School oh, of Medicine. Let us recite this oath in unison. Today, Today I, commit, I, commit, I commit myself to the calling of medicine. medicine. I stand, I stand beside my teachers, teachers in devotion to the care of the sick, the promotion of health, and the service of humanity. I am privileged to be a part of my patients' lives. I have my prejudices, walk with them on their journey through life and its pivotal transitions. I will hold sacred the bond with my patients and guard that with intimately shared. I will collaborate with my colleagues in the best interests of my patients and society. I will strive humbly to admit mistakes, make amends, and forgive others in acknowledgement of our common humanity. I will use my intellectual curiosity to water the seeds I have been given and cultivate the growing tree of our medical knowledge. I am grateful for the family and community that have brought me to this day and will honor them in the fulfillment of this oath. I will hold my standard, maintaining and furthering the ethics, integrity, and noble traditions of my profession. I will be a doctor, a student, and a teacher beyond the confines of the bedside in my community and in my and daily, daily life. life. In doing so, I will cure sometimes, leave often, and, and comfort all. Congratulations. I am now honored to introduce the class of 2020 to our alumni speaker, Dr. Brianna Shin, a member of the class of 2016 and a first year gastroenterology fellow at Thomas Jefferson University Hospital. Dr. Shin. Friends, family, faculty, staff, and most importantly, the graduates of the class of 2020. My name is Brianna Shin, and I'm a graduate of the GCSOM class of 2016. And I'm very honored to have been asked to give the alumni address to all of you today on this incredibly important and significant day in your careers. I remember being in your shoes just like it was yesterday, although four years have passed and so much has changed. I would be remiss if I did not, not acknowledge how different this graduation is from mine and those in the past and likely those to come. Every one of you is entering into the world of medicine and starting your careers during a global pandemic, and you are truly going to be placed on the front lines. Although this may be scary, intimidating, and overwhelming, this is also an incredible opportunity to live out the oath you all just took. While this oath meant so much to me when I was in your shoes and read the same words, as I'm sure it did to all physicians that went before us, I feel like the words spoken in the oath you all just took really do take on a personal and vivid truth given the current circumstances. I guarantee there are going to be times in your near future where you will feel overwhelmed, uncertain, and question everything you're doing. But I also guarantee there will be times where you will have opportunities to care for patients and their families, give them strength, bring about bravery, and instill hope and encouragement in ways only a physician can. As you all know and can imagine, that is an incredibly humbling role. To me, it's become more than a job. It's truly a vocation. And the accomplishments and hard work it took to be in the place you are today is something you should be incredibly proud of. I'm sure you can think back on moments that have led up to this day, 
all the way back to before medical school, taking the dreaded MCAT. And then the moment you got your acceptance letter to medical school, an unbelievable accomplishment in itself. And then coming to GCSOM, spending countless hours in the library or the study rooms, taking tests in the auditorium on the second floor that went on forever. And then of course, step one. I felt like I could take on anything after taking that test. And then it came time to put on your white coat and finally take care of patients in the hospitals and the clinics. Before you knew it, you were likely doing away rotations and then applying for residency. And although your match day celebration wasn't what you ex expected or hoped for, I'm sure you experienced that incredible feeling when you realized you have a job and in a few months, you will officially be a doctor. And now that day is finally here. You are all physicians and you will go on to do incredible things. Heal patients, save lives, advance research, and teach those coming after you. And as you go out and start your residencies in a few short weeks, I want to encourage you to not forget about GCSOM and what a truly special place it is. It is more than a school where you got your medical degree. It is a family. The faculty and staff care deeply about each and every one of you. And I can say from personal experience that the support and love from all of them will continue even after you leave GCSOM. And of course, the friendships you made throughout this journey. Those relationships have bonds like no other. No one else will understand what it was like to go through medical school quite like your peers. And although you're not all together in an auditorium, like I'm sure you hoped you'd be, you are in this together. Continue to build into his friendships. Support each other as you go on to this next step. Encourage each other during the tough times and celebrate the accomplishments and victories along the way. Some of my closest friends, even my fiance, are the ones I met during my time at GCSOM. And I wouldn't trade my experiences there or the friendships I made for them. And with that, I'd like to close by saying a truly deep and sincere congratulations to each and every one of you. Take this moment, this day, and appreciate this chapter of your life as you step into the next one. I wish all of you the best of luck and success in your future careers. Congratulations. looks as if I may have been muted just now. So I will thank you again, Dr. Shen, and it's great to see you, Brianna. Class of 2020, I am grateful to Brianna for the wisdom that she's just shared with you. She is right. Your commitment to the oath that you've just taken is about to be tested in a world that has been rocked by a global pandemic, in which the mission of medicine and the service of doctors is valued more than ever. Judging by how ably you have dealt with the rapid changes, disappointments, and adversity that these past few months have brought, we have every confidence that you will meet this challenge. So go forth and serve. You have made us proud. Congratulations. This concludes the ceremony. You can imagine a recession and pomp and circumstance and a brass choir if you like, but congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Congrats everyone. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Congratulations everyone. Best wishes. Thank you. Congratulations, everyone. Oops, we're not unmuted. Congrats, everyone. Thank you.
Congratulations, everyone. Thank you.